What's up YouTube? This is Corey or Butterbean or whatever you'd like to call me and today I am bringing you a vlog on Sacred and guys I am pretty excited because this is one of my greatest friends from high school and he did the Bible study at my school while I was doing the prayer group but anyways I wanted to bring him on this channel because not only is he a number one fan of Judgment Awaits and he yeah. stalks him <laughs> but, <laughs> But anyways, uh, I brought him on this channel because I knew that he would be a light to you guys. So uh, I hope Judgment Awaits leaves a link in the description. But if he doesn't, Bradley, why don't you tell him a little bit about your channel? Well, um, my channel, I've done two different types of things. I've done a Bible study, which has basically been the one that everybody likes. And the other one is Bradley Speaks is what I call it. I try to do like spoken word top things what God really puts on my heart what I think I need to share okay well there you have it that's his channel you know if you want to go check it out after the video then go check it out but uh, before we do you know what sacred is all about it is all about spreading the gospel to you guys and trying to be a light to you guys out there so we're going to bring you something and I hope that it encourages somebody out there but anyways this one is called uh, one body and one mind and um, you know, I, I want to give you a scripture here. This is from Philippians 2, and it starts with the one that says, Is there any encouragement from, from belonging to Christ, any comfort from His love, any fellowship together in the Spirit? Are your hearts tender and compassionate? Then make me truly happy by agreeing wholeheartedly with each other, loving one another, and working together with one mind and purpose. And you know, that's what I want to talk about. Here on Sacred, you know, we are supposed to come together from all the different perspectives. He comes from a Bible study, from a spoken word type of thing. I'm a gameplay commentator, but we're coming together on this channel to spread encouragement. And you know, that's what I want to talk about with you guys. You know, you have friends out there. You have somebody. You have a father. You have a mother. You guys need to get together, one body and one mind, and realize the power that you have together. You have power that is just so... What, what kind of power do we got, Brad? Dude, we got amazing power. We got power. Yeah. And the thing is, when we get together with one body and one mind, that power comes to fruition and we explode. So Bradley, Bradley has a scripture for you guys, and I want to let him share that with you because he is the Bible study master. and He's got a few, few things that are that are hidden behind this message that is going to blow your mind. Well, in uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 12, it says that we're one body in many parts. It says this, you, this the body is a unit. Through it, it is made of many parts, and through it, all the parts are many. They are one body. So with Christ, we are baptized by one spirit into the body, whether Jews or Dre Greeks, slave or free, and we are all given the one spirit to drink. And you know, it goes on to say, and uh, uh, paraphrase, I'd put it, that, you know, I may be a hand and Corey may be a foot, but just because Corey's a foot, he shouldn't look at me and say, well, you're a hand. I don't belong yeah. here. And you know, with like channels, just because I do Bible study and spoken word and Corey does vlogs and first player commentary, you know, doesn't mean that I should say, well, I'm not as good as him that I don't belong here. Or, you know, I'm not as good as at gaming as he is, so I shouldn't do as, you know, what he does. But that's not what the Bible says, you know. Know you the body of Christ, and each one of you is a part. And in the church, God has appointed, you know, first the apostles, the preachers and the, the spreaders of the word, basically, then prophets. The people who encourage and give good news to others. What you're doing on your YouTube channels. You know what Corey's doing, what I'm doing, Judgment, you know, Clee, all those guys are, are, we're all doing that. You know, third teachers, then workers of miracles, and those who have healing, and those of administration and speaking in different kinds of tongues. But are all prophets? Are all apostles? Is everybody the same? No. No. And you know, do we all speak in tongues? Do we all do something different? Can we all interpret? Well, no, but eagerly desire the greater gift. You know, what do you consider a greater gift? Is a, a quality of a body. You know, because you want to work out when you're small, like me, and you play like football or something like that, you want to work out and get bigger. 
So you have to use all the muscles in your body. Mm -hmm. So your body has to work in one function. Yep. And see, that's the thing. Uh, when we come together as friends, as family, as things like that, like he said, we come together as one body. You know, though that they are many parts, we all drink of the same spirit. And that's what I want to share with you today. That no matter what you do out there, no matter if you're a gameplay commentator, if you are a Bible study guy or a spoken word, or you don't do YouTube at all, the thing is, you have power. And if you just realize it and take hold of it and become part of the body, you can do it. And see, here's the thing, Bradley was talking about this, and it kind of blew my mind. Uh, he was talking about Paul in the Bible, and he said, Paul never went out on a mission trip or a work on his own. He was actually with somebody. And uh, the thing is, you know, Paul was working together with the body of Christ, and he was, you know, going out to the Gentiles, to the Jews, to the slaves, to the Greek, and he was spreading the gospel. No matter who he was with, uh, you know, no matter what kind of gift they had, he was spreading the gospel, and that's what you can do. Uh, but guys, I want to give you one last scripture, and then we're gonna um, we're gonna close this video out. Uh, so, like I said, thanks, Judgment Awaits, uh, for uploading this, uh, and you know, thank you to all the people that watched. Uh, but in Philippians two and three, it says, "Don't be selfish. Don't try to impress others. Be humble, thinking of others as better than yourselves." Don't look out for your own interests, but take an interest in others too. You must have the same attitude that Christ Jesus had. Though he was God, he did not think of equality think of equality with God as something to cling to. Instead, he gave up his divine privileges. He took the humble position of a slave and was born as a human being. And basically, he was crucified for all of us. And see, the thing is, you know, we're not in this for the money. We're not in this for the glory. The thing is... We are here to spread the gospel, and that's what we want to do with you guys. So just make sure when you're out there, think about being with one body and one mind, because you have power. Well, guys, thank you for watching this video. I hope you go and check out his channel. Um, and uh, like I said, I enjoyed him being on the video with us, and I thank you guys a lot. I love you guys, and God bless every one of you.